Hello everyone and welcome to my channel it's Leonard here again and in today's video tutorial still on Binance I'm going to actually change you how to actually change from one particular currency to another let's say you have USDT and you want to change it to Bitcoin you want to change it to whatever you want to change it to um, that is what I'm gonna going to uh, show you in this video and you know to re-emphasize on some of the things I said in the previous video because a lot of persons still get it wrong so I will just do this video to make sure that it covers even for the previous one on how to sell Bitcoin to your bank account directly. So if you are new to my channel, consider subscribing, hit the notification bell to be the first to be notified each time new videos like this are published. And if you have any issue, you can always use the comment section and I will actually attend to that. So this particular, this video is a request actually made particularly from um, Jonas, uh, Jonas or so. I hope I got that name right. So he wanted to know how to swap from USDT to Bitcoin. And that is the reason why I'm actually making this video right now. So first, to start with, um, if your Binance account doesn't look like mine, you want to change the interface to look like mine so that you'll be able to follow along. And in order to do that, you will need to come in here to this icon here where the arrow is pointing. Um, the icon here, this particular icon, that is what you're going to click. Once you click on this icon, the next thing you want to do is, by default, your app should be on Binance Lite. So if it is on, if this um, particular button is toggled on, you need to to uh, uh, press on it to toggle it off. Mine is off, and that is why you can see the interface I have right now. So you need to toggle this off. And once you toggle that off, and you come in here to the home page, you see this interface right, right as it is. And the, with this, you should be able to see everything that I'm going to do here. So first and foremost, I said in the previous video that every coin that is sent to your Binance account, if you are sending from another wallet, you have a platform that pays you Bitcoin or any other coin, by default, all of those payments you receive come to a Binance um, spot wallet. Binance have different wallets for different purposes, like we have the spot wallet for regular day-to-day -day trading where you see the summary of everything you have. You have the matching, you have the future, you have the um, P2P wallet. So all of these wallets are for different purposes. So anything you want to use the wallet for, for instance, for the normal day-to-day -day trading, when you receive coin, you want to send that coin, all of those ones are carried out on the spot wallet. And then the margin, the futures, these ones are just advanced means of trading. And then if you want to transact anything to your bank account, those ones come on the P2P trading option. So these are just the different wallets that you have on Binance and you know the different use. But what we want to do here is we will need to, if you check down here, um, sorry, this stuff is covering we have on the first tab here, we have the home, here we have market, in the middle here we have trade then the next one here is future and then the next one here is wallet so pay attention to this tab below here because this is what i'm going to work with and right now to swap one coin to another what you need to do is to click on the middle icon here which is the trades once you click on the trade this is where it brings you to this is where you do your day trading uh, you buy bitcoin low you sell high you buy you sell uh, you know high you buy low all of those things this is carried out on this interface so any trade any coin you want to trade you just come in here to swap but this is basically not for for for, for trading so what i'm concerned with is to show you how to convert from one coin to another which is equally an easier way of actually trading so when i come in here to the trade at the middle here if i click on trade you see at the top here there are different menus we have convert we have spot which is the current one that we are currently on now we have margin we have fiat and then we have p2p so all of these different options serve different purpose so by default when you click on the trade below here it brings you here on the spot interface so the next thing you want to do now is to click on this convert um, just click on this convert when once you click on the convert option here um, right now what you see here is um, from btc to ethereum so these are the different coins you have here and in order to swap whatever coin you have on your Binance account you want to change it to another coin just go ahead and click on the BTC if you click it pulls up all of this coin so what I need to do now is I have um, some um, 
Naira balance on my Binance account. So if I just type NGN, it pulls up that Naira and it will now tell me what am I converting it to. I want to convert it to Ethereum. I just go ahead and click on that. Then the next thing is to click on the confirm button that you see down here, the yellow button you see here. Just go ahead and click on the confirm button. So right now it's telling me I can convert from 9,700 up to um, 750 million or thereabout at a go. So this is what I can convert at a go. So what I need to do now, since I'm converting from Naira to Ethereum, I just go ahead, I'm converting everything I have on my Naira wallet. So I go ahead and click on Max. It will pull up everything I have on that Naira wallet. And once you pull it up, um, the next thing is just to go ahead and click on the preview uh, conversion. The, the button below here, the yellow button below here, this one that says preview conversion. So I just go ahead and preview the conversion. And it will tell you for this amount, I'm going to receive 0 0.Q um, um, Ethereum. So this is what I'm going to re um, receive. The yellow warning you are seeing here is that the price has changed. That is why you are seeing this yellow warning here. So you just need to click on this um, yellow button that says to refresh, to refresh. So this is what I'm going to receive current uh, right now for one Ethereum. So for Ethereum worth 500 and the price keeps changing. So you have less than 10 seconds to do this. So you go ahead and refresh again and once you refresh if you are satisfied with this you go ahead and click on convert so once you convert that um you see that it has automatically converted my naira to ethereum so now that it has converted you can go ahead and view history you can go back to the home page wherever you want to um just go back to the home and basically that is how you do one basic conversion to another so instead of having naira on my wallet right now i now have ethereum so I can now use Ethereum to now do whatever I want to do right now. And basically, you can withdraw any Naira balance you have on your Binance account directly to your bank account. Because that Naira option you can't trade. You Even when you trade it, um, it's very rare you see people who want to buy that. So if I go to the trade tab again, and then I come in here to click on um, the P2P option at the top here. If I click on that P2P option, these are the different coins that I can trade to my bank account. I can trade USDT to my bank account or buy with my bank as well. I can trade Bitcoin to my bank account. I can trade the BUSD to my bank account, the BNB, the Ethereum, the Naira. And then the last option is this DAI that you see here. So these are the different coins that I can trade to my bank account. At the top here, what you equally notice when you come in here to the P2P option, at the top here, here is where it says buy and then here is where it says sell buy it means that you want to buy bitcoin you want to buy usdt you want to buy ethereum whatever coin you want to buy you use the buy option if you have some balance on your binance account already you want to sell that is when you click on the sell tab and at the top here again here please check this arrow where it's pointing you see ngn if you come in here to the P2P trading um, interface and yours is not showing your local currency, please tap on this to swap it to your local currency. All you just need to do is to click on it. Then you can now type in your currency here to change it to your own local currency to be able to trade in your own local currency. And you see people who are ready to buy in your own local currency and send money directly to you. And if I click on the sell tab here, let's say I want to sell um, Bitcoin to my bank account directly or I want to sell USDT. Now, when I click on the sell, by default, this is still on the USDT tab. So you want to change, let's say it is Bitcoin you have, it is um, um, BTC you have, whatever you have, you go ahead and click on it. If it is BTC, I'll go ahead and click on BTC and it will show you the amount of money people are ready to buy. Now, one thing people are getting confused with is that it's not everybody that wants to buy from Binance here that will buy to your bank account directly. Because these options you see here, these, um, like this yellow dot you see at the top here, this yellow dot on each of the sell button, the yellow dot you see here, all of this one represent Binance, Naira, Binance. So if I click this, whatever I sell, I'm selling it back to my Binance account. So if you want to sell it directly to your um, bank, you will need to click this icon. Please check this arrow where it's pointing, this icon here, particular icon, this one. You will need to click on it. So if I click on that icon, you see all of the payments options here. You see all, you see bank, you see 
um, fiat balance and all of this. These are the different ways. If you have CUDA bank, you can use CUDA. Those who are ready to sell to CUDA. If it is bank transfer, just go ahead and click on bank transfer. And when you click on bank transfer, the next thing you want to do is to click these options that says um, only show us from merchants. So you only show us from merchants. You go ahead and click on this to toggle it on and click yes. So this will only show us from merchants who are merchants are those who are ready who are into real business with finance. So now that I've done that, when you see here, because I choose bank transfer, you see here the icon has changed. This icon, this yellow icon you see on top of every cell button represents bank transfer. If you are seeing anything other than this, it means it's not bank transfer. So if I scroll down here, all of the options you see, you see all of those yellow uh, icon on top of the cell button. All of this one represents the um, bank transfer. And another thing you should be looking at is the limit. The limit is what you see here beneath every price, every below every price you see a limit. So this person, what this person is ready to buy is anything from hundred thousand up to five million naira. This is what this first person is ready to buy, and this person is a merchant. Um, this person is ready to buy two million up to twelve million, twelve point five million. There is no way you have 10,000 naira worth of Bitcoin in your account and you want to sell to somebody who is ready to buy it from 100,000 and above. It won't go. It will not work. You cannot have 50,000 naira Bitcoin worth of Bitcoin in your account and you want to sell to somebody who says his limit, his or her limit is from 100,000 up to 5 million. It cannot go. So in this case, they will tell you um, insufficient balance or payment not supported or whatever. The English will be so what you need to do is this person is from 200 and above you need to scroll down until you see someone who is ready to sell anything from 100 or the amount of Bitcoin you have on your account that is what you should be looking at and those are the people you can sell your Bitcoin to and they can pay that money directly to your bank account please if you have not seen the previous video you need to go check out that video and then compare it with what I have just said in this video and you know see how you can be able to use Binance the Binance um, platform very well and you know use it to um, start trading and start selling your Bitcoin so these processes are just easy I, I don't know why so a lot of persons get it confused and get it mixed up so please go ahead and try all of this and if you don't have um, if you still have issues please use the comment section and I will always attend to that. So basically, that is what I wanted to show you in this video. If you are new to my channel, once again, consider subscribing. Hit the notification bell to be the first to be notified each time videos like this are published on my channel. And um, with that being said, I will see you in my next video. Bye for now.